In this video, I'll be working on an OSPF troubleshooting lab that is part of the Cisco Gold Bootcamp course that's available at flackbox.com. Uh, you can go to flackbox.com. You can find it here. Uh, I, take the, I pay for this course. It's excellent. I highly recommend it. So let's get started. And it says OSPF has been configured on the network, but the routers are not learning remote, uh, remote routes. The plan is to configure summarization later, but you need to fix basic OSPF first. Troubleshoot the configuration. Ensure that all routers have routes to every loop back and 10 network. There's a configuration error on each router. You'll need to find and fix all errors before it will work properly. It says some commands may be disabled during the CCNA exam, so you should know different troubleshooting commands. And it's saying you must not use the show running configuration command or any derivative of it, such as show run piped out to section. OSPF. So um, let's get started. This is the same topology as this here. It just shows the areas that are supposed supposed to be configured. So this would be area zero or area one. Sorry about that. And then this over here would be area zero. So let's get started with router one and let's do um, a quick look at the interfaces. So show IP. Show IP interface brief, and let's see what we have there. Looks like we have an issue with the 10001, which we could see there in Packet Tracer, but they are up, administratively up. We have our loopback set, so that looks okay. Let's do um, show IP route. Let's see if any. No, no, S, no OSPF routes have been um, put in the routing table, so we'll probably need to fix this problem here at, at router 2. Let's go over to the command line. Let's do a show IP interface brief and have a look at that. We can see that fast ethernet 00 and 01 are configured with addresses, but they are administratively down. The loopback is set up, so let's take care of the problem with, with those. And we can do both of those by going into comp T, and then we're gonna go to interface, and we're gonna go, we're gonna issue the range command, um, and then you just tell it, okay, what kind of interface? So fast ethernet, we're gonna do fast ethernet 00, zero and zero, 01, so zero, 00. And then you do a comma and then fast ethernet zero one and then for both of those we'll issue the no shut command and they look like they've been brought up uh, we're still getting an error though received invalid packet mis mismatch area id from backbone area so we're having uh, that's a good clue that the areas are not configured properly let's see if it's formed any adjacencies uh, do um, and and then we want to do uh, show uh, IP open shortest path first neighbor command nothing let's go back to router one so I doubt it has either maybe though show IP open shortest path first neighbor and no no adjacencies have been formed so let's look at the protocols on router one so we're going to do show ip protocol to see if ospf has been configured there and it has so the routing protocol is ospf1 the router id is correct routing for networks but hold on router one is in area one but it's showing that it's routing for networks in area zero so we need to fix that that's an error so let's go to comp t for global configuration we're going to work on ospf and we need to change this network area from zero to one so to do that we will type in network 10.0.0.0 and 0 0.255.255.255 and change that to area one and then we're going to do the same thing for network for the loopbacks. Um, 
192.168.0.0 and that's going to have a 0.0.0.255 mask of uh, uh, area 1 is what we need to set that in and now let's do a show uh, do show IP protocols and we fix that so we now have the 10 networks from router one are are in uh, area one and 192 is in area one so that's fixed okay that looks okay let's see if we have do we'll just we'll do end and we're going to do a show uh ip open shortest path first neighbor command pi and we have an adjacency formed with router 2. So that's a little bit of progress. And let's go over to router 2. And we're going to check show IP protocols. And let's see where how it's set up. So it's got its router ID. This is router 2. And it's routing for the 10 networks in area 1. And so it's got 10.0.0.0 for area one and then the 10.1. It's got the 10.0 network over here in area one and the 10.1 network in area zero. So that looks correct. And let's look at, see if it's formed any adjacencies. We'll issue the show IP OSPF neighbor command and it does have an adjacency with router 1 but not router 3 so let's take a look at what's going on with router 3 and we're going to go to show IP protocols and let's take a look at router th how router 3 is set up so router 3 is in area 0 and router 3 doesn't have any network set up. There's nothing here. So we should add those. So we'll go to global configuration mode. And then we want to work on uh, OSPF. So we'll do OSPF1. And we're going to add the, the 10 networks and the 192 network. So command is going to be network 10.0.0.0 0.0.255 so uh, this is router 3 so basically we're just saying anything in the 10 we want that in area 0 because router 3 is in area 0 and we also need to set up the loopbacks so 192 uh, 168.0.0 with a 0 0.255.255.255 and set that as area zero. Okay, so we've got the network set up for router three. Let's um, do a show IP OSPF neighbor command to see if any adjacent, still no adjacencies have been formed. Let me look at the show IP protocols again. So we have the areas correct for router three. We have the networks, but I don't have any adjacencies formed. So let's take a look at router four. And let's do a show. Um, let's look at the neighbors again. OSPF neighbor. And no adjacencies in the form. So let's do show IP protocols command. And let's see how it's set up. So router 4 has the 10 network. Let me look at it this way. The 192 and the 203, which is over here. This is the this network down here. Area zero for all of those. That's correct because router four is in area zero. 
Uh, this doesn't look right though. So this is saying, this is a slash 24, but there are two networks. There's a 10 zero and a 10 one. And so we have to correct this. 192168, that looks okay, but this is wrong. This should be, this should be, we, we want, right now it's saying, it's just dealing with the 10.0.0 .0 network because this is showing a slash 24. So we need to change this so that it's any 10 network. So let's fix that. So I'll key for configure terminal to get into global configuration mode. And we want to work with OSPF and we want to remove this statement. So let's get rid of that. And we'll put in the network command and we'll paste that in because that's not correct. And we will correct that by entering the network. And we want 10.0.0.0. And as the wild card, we want 0.255.255.255 because we want any 10 network because our four is in area zero. So let's do area zero. Okay. And let's do show IP protocols and that, that looks better because we had it as 10.0.0. Oh no, I messed up. I need to take this one out. I thought I removed that. See, we have a conflict here. So this has got to go. This is this is how I have to remove. So let's go exit or in with a pump T. We're going to work on OSPF. And we want to remove that one. So we're going to do the no command and then network. And then we'll paste in the information I just copied. So we don't want that. Now let's do show IP protocols and it's gone now. So this, this is right. So this is saying any 10 network area zero, and this is 192.168.0, which is right. And then that's the internet that's out to the ISP, that network. So that looks okay. Let's do a do show IP OSPF neighbor command. I still don't see any adjacencies formed on router four. Let's go take a look at router five. What's going on there? Well, let's see if it's got show IP OSPF neighbors. Let's see if it has any adjacencies. No. Let's do a show IP protocol command to see what's set up there. So we have for router five, we have the 10.0.3.0 network, which is 10.0.3.0, that's this side. Area one, that's correct. We have the 10.1.3.0 network, which is over here is area zero, that's correct. We have two passive interfaces and we don't want that because a passive interface won't share network information. So we're gonna need to correct that. So let's go back to global configuration mode router. We're going to work on OSPF one, and we want to take out that those passive interfaces. So no passive interface. And that was fast ethernet zero, zero and zero, one, zero, zero. And we're going to do the same command. We'll just change the one. Now let's do show. IP protocols and all right, the passive interfaces are gone. Let's do show IP OSPF neighbor command and it's starting to form adjacency. So that's progress. So we have router five has an adjacency with router one and which is here and router four, which is here. So that's good. Let's go back to router four 
and let's do show IP OSPF uh, neighbor command to see if it's formed any adjacencies and it has, well, that's good. So router four now has an adjacency with 10132, which is, um, so it has an adjacency with router five down here to 10132 but it still doesn't have an adjacency with router three. And let's go back. Let's do a uh, do show IP protocols in. I want to look at that. And so it's got 192.168 in area zero, which is correct because router four is in area zero. It's got the 203 network, which is down here, the internet. It's got the 10 network in area zero. That's correct. I don't see any passive interfaces. So let's go to router three and let's do a show IP OSPF neighbor command. It still doesn't have any adjacencies. So show IP protocol. Okay, so it's routing for the 10 networks. And 192. Actually, I think this is wrong. So that's saying router three, which is here. Because this would this is saying 10.0.0, any 10.0.0, but there's a 10.1, it's is part of it. There's a 10.1. So we need to change that line, I believe. So let's go to comp T and let's go to router. We're gonna work on OSPF one, and then we're gonna do a no network, and let's get rid of this. We'll copy and paste that just to speed it up because that doesn't look right. And let's do uh, show IP, uh, we do a do show IP protocols and it's gone. So now let's add in the correct setting for the network, which should be, we're gonna want network 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And we're going to want that as a um, 0 0.255.255.255 wildcard because we want any of the 10 networks. Router 3 is in area 0. So let's set that as area 0. Now let's do show IP OSPF uh, neighbor command. Something's happening. It looks like it's starting. Yep, now it's starting to form adjacency. So router 3. Three has an adjacency with router two, which is here, and router four. So let's just do a quick walkthrough. So we have router one, show IP, open shortest path first neighbor, and it has adjacencies with two and five. So router one has adjacencies with two and five. That looks good. Let's go to router two, show IP, open shortest path first neighbor command. Router two has adjacencies with router one and three. One and three, that looks good. Jump to router three. Do show IP open shortest path OSPF neighbor command. Router three has an adjacency with router two and four. Two and four, that's good. Let's check router four. Do show IP OSPF neighbor. Router four has adjacencies with router three and five, three and five, that looks good. And finally, router five should have adjacencies of four and one. Uh, do show IP OSPF neighbor. And router five has adjacencies with router one and four four so that's good so let's see if the routing tables have been updated so we'll go back to router one we're going to do a show ip route command 
Let's open this up. I still don't see any OSPF in here though. These are all directly connected networks. Um, what about router four? Let's take a look at that. Show IP route. Okay. So, okay, router four is getting network information though, via OSPF. So that's good. So we've got these, that's positive. We've got lots of OSPF routes in there. Router three. Do, uh, do show IP route. Let's look at the routing table. Router, router three. It's getting lots of o, OSPF routes. But I think it was router two that we're still having issues with. So let's do a show IP route. No, router two's got some in there now. Okay. Let's go back to router one. Is it showing any? Show IP route. Router one still is lacking any OSPF updates. So let's do the show IP show IP protocol and We have the 10 network is area one, which makes sense because that's router one is in area one. We have the 192 also in area one. So that looks good. Uh, let's do, let's do a show IP OSPF neighbor command. It's got adjacencies formed. So why is it not getting, let's see if router five is showing routes. Do show IP route. Okay, router five is getting OSPF routes, but router one, show IP route, still nothing. So we still got an issue with router one going on. Let's see, router one, uh, it doesn't, it does have adjacencies. We have the areas right. Let's kind of walk through this again. So, go, go IP OSP F neighbor. Oh, wait a minute. It's not showing. Oh, there it goes. So it does have the neighbors showing. It's got adjacencies with R2 and 5, 2 and 5. That's right. Let's do a look. Let's have a look at the show IP protocols. It's got the 10 network in area one. That's correct. It's got the 192.168 also in area one. That looks good. We're getting adjacencies. Router two, show IP route. Why is a router one not getting routes? I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh, I know what I did. Hold on. I didn't save my configurations on each of these. All right, so we're going to, we've, we've done configuration changes. So let's save, run. Let's copy, run to start. So copy running configuration to startup configuration. And then let's reboot. So we'll do a reload. That's router one. Let's go to router two. Copy, run, start. Reload. Okay, reboot that one. Let's head to router three. And copy, run, start, copy, running configuration to startup configuration, reload, yes, router four, copy, run, start. I think the problem is I didn't reboot, and we're going to find out. Oop. Copy, run, start, reload. 
Yep, let it go. And then router five. I do think it's probably that. So, and copy, run, start. Yes, reload. Yes. I'm going to go forward a couple minutes in Packet Tracer. And then we're going to back to router one. And let's see if the routing tables are showing up now. Show IP route. Come on, be there. There they are. Awesome. So, router one is showing the 10 0, 0 network, 10 0, 1, 10 0, 2, and 10 0, 3 networks because they're directly connected. But now OSPF is providing info on 10 1 0, 10 1 1, 10 1 2, and 10 1 3. So 10 1 0, 10 1 1, 10 1 2, and 10 1 3. That's all excellent. We've got our loopbacks. Let's look at router two. Show IP route. Router two. All right, it's getting from router two is aware of 10.0.0 because it's directly connected. It's aware of 10.0.1.0 from OSPF and 10.0.2.0 and 10.0.3.0. So it's got those from OSPF. It's getting the 10.1.1.0 and the 10.1.2 and the 10.1.3 all from OSPF. That's good. And then there are the loopbacks. That looks good. Router 3, let's do a quick check. Show IP route. Router 3 has the 10.0.0 network. 10.0.1.0 and 10.0.2.0 and 10.0.3.0. 0, 0.1.2.3, it's got those. It's directly connected to 10.1.0 and 10.1.1. And it's also aware of the 10.1.2 and the 10.1.3. Excellent, that's done. And then router four, show IP route. Router four is aware of 10.0.0 network, 10.0.1.0, 10.0.2.0, 10.0.3.0, 0 10.1.0.0, 10.1.1.0, which is directly connected to, 10.1.2.0, which is directly connected to, and 10.1.3.0, which is directly connected to. And it's got the loopbacks. That looks good. And then R5. Let's just make sure that's all functioning. Go IP route. And... Router 5 has the 10.0.0 network, 10.0.1 network, 10.0.2, and 10.0.3 networks. It sees the 10.1.0, 10.1.1, 10.1.2, and 10.1.3, plus the loopbacks. So that looks good. Everything's been fixed. It's up to date. We had multiple issues ranging from interfaces that were administratively shut down. We had routers with areas improperly configured. Um, we had an issue with the wildcard being incorrect. So that's it for this lab, OSPF Troubleshooting Lab. It's part of the Flackbox uh, Gold, CCNA Gold Bootcamp course that I highly recommend. And I will see you in the next video.